All right, fellas, I'm uh, doing what, do, making my lemonade. I have Meg with here, me. She's got to catch anything. Yeah. That, that's her challenge. It has to be able to fit in the cooler. I got my bait today is squid. I've never really messed with this stuff. Not inshore. I'm sure I'm gonna get a hundred pinfish right now. But Aaron got a 14-inch pinfish. My goal is a 14-inch pinfish. Every after one or two bites, and you don't get another one, just reel it up. You took your bait. Yeah, right about there is good. But make sure you slow it down. Make sure the cut. The reason you lose a lot of that um, extra line is because the kayak has too much speed. Now you can drop it. Look at that, that's a ringtail. Keep pedaling though. Pedal, pedal, pedal. All right, look what Meg caught on the shrimp here. Oh, oh there you can just see the side. Try to turn him. Just looks like his belly. Oh, ringtail. It's a pretty big one, like 12, 13 inches. You're gonna have to unhook him. On, cusp his belly like the other fish. Under the belly. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. That's a nice one. Stud ring. Uh, no, you should be okay. Is he gonna wiggle? He's gonna try to wiggle though. Make sure you have a grip on him and then the other hand works the hook out. I'd help you, but I don't want to crash into the rocks and die. His teeth won't, he won't get you. That was a large specimen for that fish though, just an FYI. Yeah. Damn, is that a drum? It might be. Babe, I got a drum. I think I do. Black drum, man. Thanks. It's a black drum. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see what Meg's got. What you got, Meg? Ooh, I got puffer. Crazy. Meg has won the challenge, fellas. <laughs> she got us a little uh jolt head porgy. That's the first one I've ever seen in inshore, I also. I got a puffer fish, we got a little bit of chaos. I think they call them white bone porgies. Yeah. Those are good to eat. No minimum size. <laughs> see, he changes color, see? They got like it's this- so much darker now. Yeah, they get some pretty crazy yeah, color. Purple. Meg has won my challenge. She's got a, a white bone porgy. I call them jolt heads sometimes. I think a lot of people interchange the two. Um, Good, eat, good eating fish for sure. So, seems like a wind is laid off a little bit. So we'll see what kind of conditions improve here. That's a good fish. Chicken the iron clam, baby. It's another black, black drum, another one. Using the slow pitch jig, man. Yeah, been, it's another black drum. I gotta put him back. Uh, should we keep one more? Or what do you think? He does have a little mustache. Yeah, I'll put him back. Yeah, I kept the other one, but I'll put him back. We'll see what else we get. Another fish on the glow spoon. Uh, what is that? Hello there. You know what that is? That's um, scup. Porgy, that's the, like the regular porgy. So we got ringtail, we got four species in this family running around the jetty right now. Um, those guys get to about 16, 17 inches. I haven't gotten a big one here in North Carolina, but um, that's cool. Feels like a flounder. What is it? I'll tell you right now. Oh, wow. Um, gray trout, we, uh, weak fish, decent one too. 
18 inch weak fish. These used to be really abundant way back in my day. All right, making a little move now. Um, not too bad. I mean, we didn't have good bait, so if I had crabs, I'd probably seen a couple better fish. We're gonna catch the tide. It's about, it seems like it's turning around right now. What was your favorite fish? Oh, the puffer, but yeah. Yeah. Didn't blow up, but I like the first big fish. Do I see kale? What? Do I see kale? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing the dolphin. Ensigns, kale. Great. All right. <laughs> I'm ready. Man, that was a lot of miles. A lot of miles just to fish today. We're about to beach our kayaks. And, uh, well, maybe Meg's going to do the catch and cook part of this one. Don't got too much access right now to choose from, so making the most of what we got, so. <laughs> What's so funny there? with the Zoom. What kind of knife are you using? This is Dexter Outdoors seven inch fillet knife. Dexter. I'm not as, I'm not associated with Dexter in any way, but I'm just, it, it is a fine knife after sharpening. There's no, nothing wrong with it. See, <laughs> I, lost ten, I lost 10 points from the internet judges. I didn't do a perfect job on this side. I hit a little meat hidden here. It's okay. My year in my year in bloopers. Oh my baby. Get it, get it, girl. <laughs> Let's see how you did. Perfect. There we go. Alright, next step we're gonna adjust taking out the bones. I'm gonna wipe it off any scales. Uh, generally try to avoid rinsing a saltwater fish under fresh water unless you're really that messy. These fish are pretty dry and clean. I have not hit any issues. Yeah. So why does that? Um, supposedly the, the enzymes from a saltwater fish break down. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, before you cook it, if you rinse it real quick because you need to, um, I never noticed much of a difference, um, but makes sense. There's a lot of different fish in this family. That fish you caught today uh, with the ringtail, it's also in this family. Those stupid annoying pinfish you were complaining about oh, by the day's yeah. end. By day's end, also in this family. Uh, sheep's head are also in this family. Um, right. And there's a couple other fish in this family, but um, scup or porgy. It's another type of porgy that's in this family too. I got a little bone here, I got up from the rib cage. All right, we got all the bones out. Now we're ready for Meg to take over on step two here. All right, Meg, what are we working with? The porgy oh, yeah. that I cut. All right, what are we doing with it? Uh, we're gonna put pepper, ground cumin, red pepper, and chili powder on it, and we're gonna um, put it on the cast iron and do what? <laughs> then we're gonna top the chips and the fish with queso. Yeah, with queso, and then we're gonna do jalapenos, tomatoes, onions, and cilantro, and um, top it with a little bit of this crumbly cheese. Oh yeah, all right, let's mm -hmm. go. Generous, <laughs> generous <laughs> about it, babe. I, I like spicy stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna give them about two minutes per side. That looks good. Yeah, it does. All right, dice her up. Mm -hmm. That noise is that? <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Sorry for telling you to put it on that plate. I apologize. Never did fish nachos before. It's my first. I've had shrimp nachos. I always thought they were okay. Mm. No, you shrimp know. nachos sound. This sounds so much better than shrimp nachos. That's that's no fancy queso there. It's just a regular quarantine queso. Quarantine queso. Mm -hmm. Mike, the, the key with queso though is you really if you put too much, it gets way too soggy. You ever get those nachos that you get home? Ew, yeah. <laughs> Oh. That's good. All right. That's a good amount of queso. I know you love your onions. I like, oh, I like well, we can like put an extra thing Yeah, on you, you, ever, you know how those chips on the bottom never get enough. Yeah. That's <laughs> probably good, right? Yeah, that's a good amount. Now jalapeno. Take it easy. Oh, no, all Take these. it easy on me. Oh, no. <laughs> Yum. Look how colorful it is. Cilantro. I like no, cilantro. cilantro, yeah. I'm a big fan of cilantro. Some of you might think that's an excessive amount of cilantro, but I really like cilantro. No, I like it. I'm gonna use all this though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you got? The thumbs up? This is so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we're gonna need some more. 
<laughs> we're gonna be keeping pinfish next week. I didn't have that much fish on it. I gotta have to. I need another one. Oh, we didn't have that much. We didn't keep that much fish. We had bonito the other night and all that stuff. So just right, enough. Just one. enough for snack. Go, go, yeah. go, watch. You're watching. Everyone's watching. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Make sure you have all the toppings. You got everything. Yeah, yeah. And light on the jalapenos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Mm. I like the queso. You were good on the queso. So people are going to be like, well, you can't taste the fish with all those jelly greens. Sometimes that's the point. <laughs> I do taste that it's fish. Um, but I think any small fish or, you know, because with the black drum, that ring tail you caught, mm -hmm. um, probably anything would work pretty well. I wouldn't, you know, waste some of the more like tuna type stuff from that. But. Yeah, well, you gotta zoom in on my. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so thanks to Meg. Um, there's going to be affiliate links in the video description. Make just fish or trim on bottom rigs. I used um, slow pitch jigs. I got those two black drum on the slow pitch jigs. Not a great day of fishing, but we got out there. We caught fish. We made a meal. We made the most of our current situation um, of not driving more than 10 minutes to go fishing. So um, thanks to everyone watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had fun. It was a fun little dish. There'll be the, the recipe I'll put in the video's description. Um, thanks to Meg for catching dinner and cooking dinner for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, let me go. I'll uh, hopefully have another video soon, so we'll see. Right, take it a day by day right now.